Alright, in the last part, with a very weird intro here. The natural killer cyborg suddenly attacked us. Seems to be Porky's toy, it seems. Anyway, this guy, he is tough. I'm telling you that right now. He is very, very, very tough. What you're going to want to do in this fight is immediately raise all your stats. Uh, Kumatora, she can use Thunder. PK Ground is great to use in this fight, but it's an incredibly cheap move, so I'm going to go through this fight as if you didn't have it. Go ahead and use that. Lower his offense right away. I cannot stress that enough. Use offense down, use Duster Scary Mask, use anything. I'm gonna go and test to see if he has a shield. Alright, good, we lowered his offense. You want to lower his offense on the first turn. If you don't, he is gonna be absolute hell to deal with. Thunder is okay. Thunder does some damage. Not much, but at least it does something. Razor defenses, excuse me. I'll just have Lucas basically raise all of our stats, you know, to begin with after having Duster lower its offense. And it's using a powerful swing. Only 49 damage. That was easy. Oh! Nice! Franklin badge. That's one of the ways you get in a little bit of extra damage. That's basically the equivalent of Thunder Omega right there. Um, offense. It's kind of pointless to have the awesome uh, cloak have the, uh, have lightning. Uh, you know, lightning resistance, though, because honestly, uh, and when you think about it, the earliest, uh, kind of the enemy that you can fight is just before the fight with the Masked Man, and by then you always have the Franklin Badge, no matter what, because of the cutscene, so it's pointless for that thing to have lightning defense, because you're invincible to it anyway. Let's go ahead and try the bombs. Bombs. Alright, not bad. I'd recommend using up whatever bombs you got in this fight. You know, just because this guy can be a bit annoying. Uh, I forget, what did I do with Lucas again? I don't think I was really paying attention when I was selecting his attack. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I guess everyone makes at least some mess-ups in boss fights, though, and I guess I'll... Okay, I raised offenses. That was a good move. Yeah, you want to just raise your stats, put up shields with Lucas first, after lowering his offense. And another powerful swing. Another powerful swing, and great! Well... Actually, that's not too bad. Boney really isn't that good for special moves. Uh, let's go ahead and put up... Let's go ahead and put up a shield. I'll put up a counter. Yeah, counters are really good. I'm not gonna use... Like I said, I'm not using PK Ground at all in this fight. A lot of people recommend using PK Ground in a lot of these bosses, including the first Mass Man fight, if you can manage to grind up that high. But really, um... PK Ground is a very cheap move. It makes every boss in this game pathetic easy. Basically, it does a fixed percentage of the enemy's HP, so you're always going to beat him in only a few turns. On top of that, it can make the enemy trip and fall over so they can't do anything the next turn. And on top of that, uh, shields and counters have absolutely no effect on it, or down an attack. Ah, you missed! You fail! Uh, this boss is also invincible to all statuses. Like, you can't, like, freeze him, you know, solidify him, you can't burn him, you can't do anything like that. He's basically in he's invincible to, you know, pretty much anything like that. Poison, really... Not much work on this guy, okay? I think I might lower his defense to make this fight go faster in the next turn. Activated self repair system. And great, he healed 577 HP. Fan freaking tastic. Now I'm really gonna be doing defense down. If I can find it on my thing here. Uh, wait, is, is it? Oh, wait, that's right. Kumatora has that stuff. Uh, how am I thinking? Let's go ahead and go into or is assist. I believe she's the one with the defense. Yep, she has defense down. Okay. Let's turn Pony. Go. Uh, I actually can't take back what I said earlier. Don't use up all of your bombs in this fight. It's just that this is a fight where you can tend to use up some of your excess if you got, like, extra ones laying around. Ah. Not bad. This fight isn't so bad. A lot of... This fight has freaking awesome music, though. I don't know if you've been able to hear it so far, though, but jeez. This fight has some of the coolest music in any Game Boy game. In fact, I'm gonna turn it up now because I'm enjoying it so much. Ah, uh, jeez. Then again, this whole game is awesome music. This is, this is just one of the coolest boss themes I've ever heard. It, it's definitely up there with, like, uh, the boss theme for Final Fantasy IV, 
uh, Paper Mario 2 battle theme. It fired its end of the century beam! That can't be good! Uh, that face looks really stupid. Whoa! It was like a rainbow right there. Doesn't do much because we have our counters up and, you know, our, we had defenses raised, so. That actually counts as a physical move, of course, as you guess, so it's really not that big of a deal. When he does that, that usually means he's getting weak, so. We can count on the fight being over pretty quick. Whoa. What's he doing? He bore down a tonight. Right, no bad. Ah, smash. And my counter vanish. Funny, remember to perform special things? Wow, it took you freaking long enough. Uh, let's go ahead and renew Lucas's counter. Counter alpha. Actually, wait. How much more? Yeah, for just a little bit more PP, I might as well renew everyone's counters for a few more turns. Um, Kumatora. Nah, Kumatora, we need you to attack. Um, you know what? Just for fan service, I'm gonna use PK Starstorm for the first time ever in this fight, because I haven't even used it yet, and it's a great attack, and I really want to show it. And Boney, you attack. Bad. Electric like banana. Here it comes! PK Starstorm! 799 damage! Jeez, that was a good way to finish that fight. And I said PK Ground was cheap. Yeah, PK Starstorm is amazing. That hits all enemies and everything. It uses 48 PP, though, whereas I don't think Ground uses quite that much. And cool, we got some level ups. Now, as, as if we weren't already ridiculously overleveled, being almost level 70. Wow, level 70. And he is gone. Let's go through here. <gasps> what is this? It's the Mother 1 title theme. In the early 1900s, a dark shadow covered a small country town in rural America. At that time, a young married couple vanished mysteriously from their home. The man's name is George, the woman's name is Maria. Two years later, as suddenly as he had left, George returned. He never told anyone where he had been or what he had done, but he began an odd study all by himself. As for Maria, his wife, she never returned. Eighty years have passed since then! Yes, I know that entire thing off memory. Pollyanna? Let's get on the boat, guys! This is a very famous scene from the game. We're on a boat with Ness's, uh, the replica of Ness's house on it. Look at that! It's the bus of the Runaway Five! It's Tessie! All these awesome memories from ten years ago that no one ever played! It's all coming back to us! There's a taxi! There's the three phones, including the one from Magic Hand. I wonder how Porky got his hands on one of those. I wonder if he, like, raped Ness's mind or something. Ugh. Uh, Skyrunner, there's an, the eraser and pencil, and yes, that's actually, uh, is the doll and the, uh, octopus in the Japanese version. The translation team, uh, updated that, which is awesome. The helicopter that Porky ran away from, which, it was destroyed in Mother 2, I don't know what it's doing repaired here. Dungeon Man, who's a living being, I don't know how they got him here, as well as Tessie. Uh, a Greyhand bus, I don't know how he got away with stealing a bus. ATM machine, I think the bank might have something to say about that. The yellow submarine that has the wrong sprite. A bike. In fact, have you noticed all these things that actually are new sprites? The Phase Distorter! I wonder how he got a hold of the Phase Distorter that Ness, Paula, Jeff, and Pooh used. And of course there's Por uh, Porky's uh, spider mech that he used to escape from the uh, final battle of Earthbound with. If you notice, none of these are the original sprites. Hey, check it out! If you look in there, there's a white pixel and a black pixel. I mean, those are the white, white and black sesame seeds. That's something that a lot of people don't get. Uh, but yeah, it's... This is one of the coolest rooms in the game, honestly. It's awesome. Anyway, though, now that we had that trip down memory lane, literally, we're going to end this video off right here, all right? So, next time on Mother 3, we'll get even closer to Porky himself. See you guys then.